Hi, welcome to Kelowna Daily Homes for Friday, July the 12th. I'm your host, Lou McDonald, and uh, we've got 18 homes on uh, the market new today. And uh, we're going to, I've sorted by price today, so the areas are going to jump around a little bit and we'll go from lowest to highest. So, starting out um, in Rutland North, priced at 175 Batkey Road, and this one built in 1980, 980 square feet, uh, semi detached townhouse. Uh, two bedroom, two bath. A couple of pictures, and uh, that's uh, yep tenants in place. So that one is rented out. Doesn't tell us how much it's rented out for, um, but could be good for a first time buyer or the investor. Next one up is on Yates, five fifty one Yates Road, built in 07. This one also a condo or strata. Uh, two bedroom, two bath, 978 square feet, priced at 234.9. And this one, uh, open floor plan, spacious kitchen, dining room, two bedroom, two bath, and split layout, meaning that uh, the living room is down the center, similar to the one that I have um, in Lake Country. Uh, excellent deal on a condo out in Lake Country, if you're interested in that. So that's that one in Glenmore. Next one up on Springfield Spall on Dernan. Uh, this one on the fourth floor, two once again, 234.9, same as the last one, 1,050 square feet. Uh, built in 2005, and this one has age restrictions, adult oriented. Close to the downtown, and or not downtown, but shopping, the Orchard Park Mall, and so forth, that's in, important. Next one up is on Mills Road. This one, uh, townhouse, priced at 245. Built in 2005, 1390 square feet on three levels. Um, hardwood floors. This one looks actually quite like a pretty good buy for a townhouse. At uh, priced at 245. What strata on that one? I'm not seeing it quickly here for strata. If I find it, I'll let you know. Uh, four bedroom corner unit. Bright, clean, centri centrally located for a young family, so no um, no age restrictions in there. We've got a small yard you can see down here. So townhouse under two fifty. Next one up is a condo on Houghton Road, Rutland North. Uh, priced at two sixty nine nine, two bedroom, two bath, eleven hundred and eighty four square feet. Magnolia Gardens. That one seems a little bit high to me um, for that a condo in that area. Two bedrooms, two bath, at two hundred and seventy thousand. Top floor, mountain views, huge master with a five piece ensuite. And another townhouse, this one on Springfield in Kelowna South, so down towards the beach. Um, built in 1980. Square footage, 1,600 square feet, two bedroom, and uh, two and a half baths. Beautiful two-story townhome, centrally located, quiet park-like setting. So down in the hospital area, that might uh, be a pretty good buy as well. That one priced at two eighty for a townhome. And another one on Springfield, in the uh, I think the same complex, priced at two eighty four nine. Yep, same square footage and so forth. So priced about five thousand apart. And this one says uh, updated three bedroom and den, two and a half bath end unit. So if you're looking in that area, we can get into both of those if uh, if you'd like to see them. Next one up, uh, well, that's on Brant. So we've seen quite a few of those coming on the market if you've been following along. And uh, Brant Road. Lund, priced at $339.9, built in 77. And this is up in Black Mountain, 2,138 square feet, priced at $339.9. So three bedroom, two and a half bath with amazing lake views on quiet Black Mountain Street walking distance to new playground and school and short distance up to a big white resort from a, from black mountain 
So a Rancher with a walkout. That one's priced at three thirty nine nine. Next one up on Saratoga out in Ellison, and I'm pretty sure that's Scotty Creek. Um, this one priced at three forty nine nine, built in seventy eight, twenty four hundred and eighty square feet. Yeah, great four bedroom, well maintained private family home in the quiet Ellison area. 0.29 of, of an acre, uh, landscape lot. Uh, look at all the gardens put in. That's a nice, nice yard. That one priced at uh, just under 350. Next one up, priced at 379.9, Rutland North, Hayashi, and single-family home in quiet neighborhood, grade level entry. Walk out upstairs into a large backyard. So 2473 square feet, four bedroom, two bath. And next one up, this one is, uh, looks like two sides of a duplex. A full duplex, priced at $399.9. So four bedroom, two bath on each side. So you're getting eight bedrooms and four bathrooms for $400,000 on this. Uh, close to all amenities. This one, um, if you wanted to live in one side and rent the other side out, it might even pay for itself. I'd have to do the numbers, but if you're interested in something along that line, give me a call and I can work out the numbers for you based on interest rates and down payment and so forth. Uh, so 5% down on, on 400000 that's going to be about tw with 20000 down, uh, 380 mortgage, and I will, uh, I'd say it'd come close to breaking even on the payments on that. And that one's in Glenmore. Uh, next one up, built in 2005 on Wilmot, up in Black Mountain. Wonder if it comes with the boat on that one. Uh, only one picture so far, and stunning three-bedroom and den home situated on oversized black oversized lot in Black Mountain. Uh, two masters on the main floor, easily converts to a three-bedroom. And that one's priced at uh, 449.9. Crosby in North Glenmore, built in 1992, 2009 square feet, three bedroom, two bath. And this one has been updated. Uh, family home in a great neighborhood. New wood floors, or sorry, new wood kitchen cabinets and counters, new paint, light fixtures, hardwood, new roof in 2010. So it sounds like all the upgrades and work has been done on that one. And beautiful deck out the back and yard. Nice. Uh, full landscaping and that one's in North Glenmore on Crosby and Magic Estates Rio Drive priced at 465 a uh, great deal in very desirable neighborhood uh, boasting an open floor plan three good sized bedrooms up and a newly developed basement down uh, private backyard so this is built in 99 2640 square feet and uh, lot size just under a quarter acre at uh, 0.21 of an acre. So Black Mountain in the 465 range. Next one up on Monashi. This one in uh, up on Dilworth with an in-ground pool priced at 657, 3550 square feet, built in 1988. Uh, five bedroom, three bath, and 0.21 of an acre again. Located desirable Dilworth Mountain, five bedroom, three and a half bath. Uh, comes with uh, 18 by 36 in ground pool, huge deck overlooking the backyard, and fully finished walkout basement. Comes with RV parking, room for RV parking as well. And that one priced $657. And our last one for today, this one on Lodge Road in Lake Country. Uh, priced at seven fifty nine on one acre. This one, the home was built in 1999, 2,518 square feet, and uh, comments say one acre of privacy in Lake Country, uh, usable 2,500 square foot, totally, totally renovated, three bedroom, three bath, pool, hot tub, central air, uh, on sewer, with a creek, fence, green space, loads of parking, hardwood, granite, tile, uh, walk to all amenities. 
So if you're looking for a little bit of space, it looks like it has a shop out the back and uh, tons of RV parking, large private lot with, um, with a pool. That might be the one for you. That's it for today. Have a great weekend, and uh, I'll talk to you on Monday. Once again, I'm Lou McDonald, Kelowna Daily Homes.